We're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file, and we're going to work in the bottom left-hand office space like we did in the previous video. What we're going to have a look at now is the fillet and chamfer commands, and we're going to utilize those on some new conference stroke boardroom tables. So we need to be on an appropriate layer first. So we're going to utilize in the layers panel in the home tab on the ribbon, the make current command like we have previously. And I'm going to select, say, one of these sofas here, and that puts me on the appropriate layer. Then zoom in to the top part of the room, like so. Just get that nice and central so that you can see what you're doing on the screen. And we're going to create a couple of rectangles that are going to represent our boardroom tables. So we go to the draw panel and we click on the fly out here and select rectangle. And then we pick a point about here, click and drag upwards like so. And these are going to be 3000 millimeters or three meters like so, and then press the comma key and then 1250 for the width of the table. So they look like that. We're going to select this now and right click and use copy selection. We'll use the top left corner of the existing table and just drag across using your polar tracking and click there like so, and then enter to finish. So we've got two conference tables. We're going to add a fillet to each corner of the left hand conference table. So I go to the modify panel here and click on this fly out here. There's fillet, chamfer and blend curves. We want fillet. Come into the drawing area and it'll prompt you to select the first object. You don't want to do that yet because you haven't set a radius. So it's a right click and radius like so. The fillet radius will be 200, 200 millimeters in this case and press enter. And then it prompts you to select the first object. Now that will only do one corner. If you right click again, and select multiple, this will save time, and you work your way around selecting each corner, the lines that form each corner, like so. If I hadn't chosen the multiple option, what would have happened is I would have had to have done each one of these individually, executing the fillet command. I then press enter to finish. Now, you might think that's a time saver. There's an even bigger time saver in the fillet command because what we're filleting here is a closed polyline, a rectangle. So I'm going to undo what I've just done. And I'm going to go back up to the fillet command, come into the drawing area and right click and select my radius again and set it to 200 again and press enter. This time I'm just going to right click and select polyline. All I've got to do is select the polyline click and it does all four corners at once. Regardless of how many intersecting vertices I've got on a closed polyline, it will add that fillet radius to each of those intersecting corners. How quick and cool is that? Much quicker than doing them individually. Let's have a look now at the chamfer command. It's a similar workflow. So we go back up to the modify panel, click on the fly out and select chamfer this time. We come into the drawing area and again, we're being prompted for our first line. Right click and you've got two chamfering options. You've got distance and angle. And depending on which one you want to use, you can use the method option here to select either distance or angle to chamfer your objects. I'm going to use distance in this case. And the first chamfer distance is going to be 200, enter. And the second chamfer distance will default to 200 as well. I'm going to press enter to accept that to give me a 45 degree chamfer. You'll see what I mean in a moment. If I then right click again and go to multiple, similar to the fillet command, I can select each line that forms a corner and work my way around generating a chamfer on each corner like so. So I've worked my way around like so, and then I press enter to finish. Now, the lovely thing is the chamfer command also has that polyline option. So I can go back up to undo on the quick access toolbar. I can go back to the chamfer command again, like so, and come into the drawing area, right click and select distance again. Again, 200 for the first chamfer distance and press enter. Accept the 200 for the second chamfer distance. That will give us our 45 degree chamfer on each corner. And then we just right click and go polyline and select the polyline. And it does all four corners for us quick and easy. 
So you can see there when you're modifying objects, in this case our conference tables in our boardroom, it's very quick and easy to use the fillet and the chamfer commands to add specific types of corners to our objects in our AutoCAD drawings.